Uh, CAR T cells have been, uh, you know, a really transformative therapy in uh, lymphoproliferative diseases, specifically acute lymphocytic leukemia and non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Uh, and it's now being examined in multiple myeloma, specifically right now with a focus on BCMA as a target. Uh, BCMA is expressed predominantly by plasma cells uh, and is a good target in that respect. Um, the uh, results to date with CAR T cells are somewhat variable depending on the exact construct, but there's been very high response rates even in patients with advanced disease. Um, and the real question now is how durable are those responses? Uh, one of the sort of longer uh, follow-up studies uh, has suggested a uh, median time of uh, response of about uh, 12 months, a little bit less in very advanced patients. Uh, that's exciting and clearly a, it offers a uh, tool to uh, taking care of patients we didn't have, but clearly shows there's still uh, progress to be made in terms of understanding why are patients relapsing, what can be done to try and preserve response. So there's a lot of focus right now, both in understanding how we would integrate CAR T cells into those advanced patients, but also trying to understand patterns of resistance, identifying sort of key levers that we might be able to change in terms of relapse, and also really exploring whether there is a role of moving this up in the therapeutic sort of uh, sequence, and whether by moving it up you'd actually have a longer response or not. Those are imp very important uh, questions. So uh, there's real um, very uh, potent activity, but still some questions to solve.